for Miami Dade cops who uh, were involved in a police shootout after a UPS truck got hijacked. The UPS driver was killed, uh, as well as a passenger or a driver in a different vehicle from a stray bullet. Uh, four cops are being indicted for uh, being involved. Uh, hopefully, the other cops who were involved in it uh, get charged for uh, something. I mean, they were in the middle of a street shooting at a truck with cars around them. That is insane. Exclusive today, nearly four and a half years after a UPS driver was shot and killed in his truck on Miramar Parkway. Local 10's Annalise Garcia confirming today that four Miami-Dade police officers will be indicted in connection with this case. She's joining us live now with much more. Annalise. That's right. We've learned from sources that four Miami-Dade police officers are facing charges and expected to be indicted after this information just became known to us from the Police Benevolent Association. Uh, this is all in connection to that fatal shootout involving a UPS driver who was held hostage back in 2019. The PBA telling us they're representing all four. Long time, long time. I wait. This mother waiting nearly five years for answers. Lucy Apolinario's son, a UPS driver who was held hostage, shot and killed after a cross-county chase in December of 2019. I wasn't the light when the shooting happened. The chaotic tragedy happened December 5th, 2019. It started in Coral Gables, where two men, Lamar Alexander and Ronnie Hill, robbed a jewelry store. Then they hijacked a UPS truck with the 27-year-old driver still inside. This sparked a police chase through two counties. Things ended with nearly two dozen police officers from multiple agencies firing their weapons at the truck at a busy intersection, Miramar Parkway and Flamingo Road. Bullet holes in his heart. And the smoke cleared. This goes to show how little cops actually care about the safety of other people in the area if willing to shoot up a truck in a busy intersection. Uh, because again, another person died, and not just the people in the UPS truck. Here, the subjects Alexander and Hill were both dead, and so were the UPS driver Frank Ordonez and 70-year-old Rick Cutshaw, who was hit by a stray bullet while sitting in his car on his way home from work. Y me alegra saber de que... Fast forward four and a half years after the Broward State Attorney's Office presented the investigation to the grand jury, four Miami-Dade police officers involved are being indicted, likely facing serious charges after what happened. The Police Benevolent Association, who's representing all four, shared a statement with Local 10 that reads in part, we're extremely disappointed that after almost five years, these officers are finding themselves indicted for something they had seconds to decide. The Broward State's Attorney's Office is prosecuting officers for responding to armed subjects, where they just got done prosecuting an officer for not responding in Parkland. Well, no, you, they're being charged for murdering people. I mean, whatever, whatever you want to call it, I mean... You killed people, you still should be punished for it. You can't kill innocent people and think you can get away with it just because you're a cop. No cop should be able to get away with killing innocent people. So we are still working to get some more information. There's not a lot yet uh, released because this is still a sealed indictment. As soon as we learn anything,